All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Grid Iron Blitz. Man, today is the 16th, and we have about three weeks until the Detroit Lions training camp, which I will be there August 6th. Myself, Micro Mike, and Troxel Sports Talk. So if you are local or you plan to go down, you know, you want to see you, you want to see us YouTube creators try to plan to go the 6th of August. Very exciting times. But I just want to uh, talk about Dan Campbell, man, and, and how Michael, Michael Rocker's comments on him. And I think that us as Detroit Lions fans, we've known for some time that our team needed a player's coach and a coach that used to be a player. Now, Rocker said that Dan Campbell reminded him a lot of McVay in his early years. And it seems as though maybe some ego had got in there with McVay because McVay had a lot of success young. I think he is the youngest coach in the league or was until LaFleur or they're neck and neck. It's somewhere, I think, I think McVay is 39, somewhere around there. And I think that when he came in, you know, he, he probably didn't have the same ego that he has now. But you get quick success, goes to your head, and now, you know, Sean McVay is who he is. But I think that Dan Campbell, you've been hearing a lot how the atmosphere is different than it was under the two and a half years of Patricia. Even where the media feels they can feel it, where it's not the same, training camp, uh, interviews, things like that are different. And I think Dan Campbell, I really think that this first year is going to go a long way. You know how we talk about how free agents don't want to come to Detroit. If they do, you have to overpay them. Now, we got a lot of expatriates to come to Detroit. And most of you probably feel that they were overpaid. Danny Amendola overpaid. Trey Flowers definitely overpaid. We had a lot of a lot of people. I think we had 17 expatriates on our roster. That number has been significantly reduced now. Uh, I know we have Jamie Collins, Trey Flowers, and uh, maybe one or two more. But Dan Campbell, I think his coaching style, his reputation as the player he was and the coach that he will be. I mean, look at what's happening now. He hasn't even coached one game as the Detroit Lions head coach and yet he's getting mad amounts of praise attention I thought that he would be a, it would be enough to I thought that he would volunteer for hard knocks for the Lions to be on hard knocks because that's how interesting he was I think that his this year his his coaching style will go a long way when we have the money next year when we have two first round picks the following the next two years that this year even if the Lions are abysmal it's going to go a long way to enticing free agents to come to Detroit free agents are a necessary component to building a winning team they bring culture they bring leadership they bring bring that veteran mentality so we do need them and we'll have a monster draft next year and we'll have a little bit of money. So leave it in the comments below, man. What, what do you think about Dan Campbell? What do you think of like the effect that he's going to have his first year? I w would love, I, I, I'm i telling you, I would love a playoff appearance and more than seven wins. I would just seven wins, a playoff appearance. Well, if you get a playoff appearance, you, you won more than seven games, right? Both of those would be phenomenal. I, I think it would be phenomenal, man. But I feel like Sheila is it, sad because I'm getting excited. You know what I mean? I'm getting excited even though I don't expect much, much this year. But I am excited to lose. You know what I mean? Like, I'm excited because I, for the first time in 20-something years, I feel like we might be headed in the right direction. Now we just need that stuff to translate on the field. We need to see all of this. We've heard it. We've we've seen we've seen this movie. We've heard this song. We've danced to this tune. We just now need to see it. Division wins, uh, playoff appearances, playoff wins. You know what I mean? And, and it would be phenomenal if 
he can do this with no with no Matthew Stafford. It, it'd just be absolutely phenomenal. I really do believe that we're not talking about Jared Goff as much as we should be, but we will, and it won't be. Ooh, we. That's why you gotta. Yeah. Ooh. Man, somebody made a video. Somebody said something in my comments the other day about me making a video while driving. As you can see, I have not looked at the camera. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you guys are awesome, man. I hope you, my members, for all my members, if you have not seen uh, your the members tab, make sure you check it out. I It's something special in there. Some new stuff that I'm unveiling for the season. I'm working on it as we speak. I told you guys that I wanted to bring my own scoreboard, my own graphics, and stuff like that, and this is just the beginning, so... Anyway, I look that time. You guys are awesome, man. Members, I love you. Subscribers, I love you. Oh, I almost forgot. The Gridiron Blitz is going to do something. Remember I told you that we're only going to have, that the games are, the streams are going to be subscriber only. Well, I did, I did change that. I thought about it. And I changed it. But it's changed in this way. Quarters one through three will be public. During the commercial break between quarters three and four, we will have, I will turn the stream to subscriber only. That way we can keep the trolls out because that's when, that's like the money quarter. Yes, it might affect my numbers. Yes, it might affect my views and stuff like that. But you know, I don't care. I, my goal this year is to give my community the best that I have to offer. I don't care. I, I don't, there's nothing I have to prove to anyone. There's none of that. I want to give you guys the best that I have, which is a, a, a phenomenal time in my streams. And just for clarification, I think what I'm also going to do is if you are a member, I am going to make, so, okay, here's what's going to happen. The Detroit Lions games will be public. All my games will be a subscriber only fourth quarter. The Detroit Lions streams will stay viewable on my channel all the time. The other games, the three other games that I'll be doing week, which is Sunday night, Monday night, Thursday night, will be unlisted, which means that you need a link in order to view it. If you've been in before, all you have to do is go find it and you can view it uh, as many times as you want. If you've never, if you never clicked on it, you can never find it. For my members, I will make it where I will put a post of every game. So like, let's say my members were like, man, I missed the stream. I really wanted to rock with the GB. Let me see how it went, stuff like that. I will make it where the members can always access a stream. You know what I'm saying? You guys are amazing and I want to really do as much as I can for you this year so anyway I know this was kind of long and all over the place but it is y'all didn't hear from me in so long and it's so much I have to catch you up with and the time is coming ladies and gentlemen the time is coming I want to thank all of you Vash Starwing the loyal ISN Gridiron Blitz representative he rocks with me everyone all if I didn't name you it doesn't mean that you are not in my thoughts but you guys are amazing I will see you in the next video. Let's go.